it's coffee time. I did that really carefully because the last time that I put my hand down, I like almost spilled the cup all over the place. I was like, oops. So this time I went, did the whole sweep around. Mm. Ah, so excited. Um, I came home. Uh, it's like five o'clock now. I came home from Jared and Amanda's and my mom was like, oh, hey, there's coffee if you want any. And I was like, <laughs> so excited. So uh, the coffee was already made for me. It was pretty, pretty stellar. Um, today was really fun because I spent the night at Jared and Amanda's. We watched Jared perform and it was awesome. It was so cool. He's got this crazy, amazing voice. And I came home with them and then I spent the night there. And then uh, we made butternut squash ravioli together. I've never made ravioli before because I'm terrible at baking. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say I'm terrible at baking. I should say that I've never, my family isn't like a baking family. We don't bake things very often, like pastries. So I didn't grow up with a mom that was like making pies or anything like that. Like I just, I just don't understand baking at all. Um, but Amanda and Jared have made ravioli a couple of times, so they were, they were well seasoned. So we got to make ravioli together and it was really fun. We made, um, they're like this big little butternut squash ravioli. We caramelized a whole head of garlic. I was just like salivating. I kept smelling it. I was like, oh, it smells so good. We caramelized a whole head of garlic and then, um, we pureed the butternut squash and we added in just some salt and sage, and that was it. And it was so delicious. It was so good. Caramelized uh, garlic goes a long way. For those of you who haven't tried it before, you should try that out because it, it packed, packed with flavor. Um, so we made that, but we had enough of the filling left, and we had been like nibbling on it while we were making the ravioli. We had enough of it left um, that we just made soup out of it. It was awesome. Uh, very thick though, very garlicky when you're just like straight up eating it. We just added some vegetable broth to it and we were like, this is a lot. But it made me want to try to bake things more often. It's just such a, it's such a like commitment. Like when you're like, I'm going to bake this thing, that means I'm going to make the dough and I'm going to roll the dough out and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to make the filling and I'm going to like, it's just such a, it's a big thing. It's such a thing that you have to do. Normally when I cook, it's very straightforward. It's like, I add this, and then I add this, and then I add this, and look, it's all cooked and I'm eating it now. <laughs> That's the kind of eating that I love to do. Or like, um, what are those called? Casseroles, where you just shove everything in a pan and you just put it, that's the type of baking I'm good at. Just, eh, just put everything in the pan, toss it in the oven, and then, you know, in a half an hour it's done, and you're like, yeah, I'm eating, it's the best. But baking, baking is hard. Baking is an art. I feel like you have to have a love for baking to get good at it. Or somebody has to force you to bake a lot. I had a friend who was awesome, awesome at making cookies, but she made cookies like her whole life growing up. <laughs> I'm like, dude, your cookies are fantastic. And she's like, yeah, they better be. I've been making them forever. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so long story short, the day was awesome. It's fantastic. I'm really excited for our Thanksgiving, our Italian Thanksgiving. I think we're having, um, we're having brujol and we're having, um, I think my sister's bringing the antipasta and we're, we just made the butternut squash ravioli and what else was there? Amanda's making a couple pies and cinnamon rolls. We're such, we're really excessive. And <laughs> I am sad though. I'm going to miss green bean casserole this year. That's, that's, but I think, I think we're going to do like traditional Thanksgiving here one night. So then I will get my green bean casserole because I desire it. I love green bean casserole so much. I could eat pans of it. I could eat like, so, uh, I gorge myself on green bean casserole. It's the same as when we had a meal the other night that had mashed potatoes. I ate all of the mashed potatoes. I couldn't stop myself. They're just so good. There's specific types of foods that my body, when I start eating it, is just like, eat all of the things, and I go, okay. Green bean casserole is one of those. It's hard to stop when I start eating green bean casserole. Delicious. I know a lot of people have never had it before. A lot of you have probably never had it before. Blows my mind. It's really good. Anytime, if somebody is like, hey, have you had green bean casserole before? If you're like, no, follow them. 
<laughs> follow them and eat their green bean casserole because it is the most delicious of things. Uh, I had a friend in college, he didn't know how to cook anything. He, um, he didn't really know how to do very much for himself in general. And so he decided that he was going to slowly teach himself how to do things like laundry and cooking. And so, uh, the very first thing that he ever learned how to make was green bean casserole. So he taught himself how to make green bean casserole. And then it turned into, how can I, how can I make the green bean casserole better? So he kept, like, adding things to it and making it differently. And he would just make green bean casseroles all the time. <laughs> like, so many. It was the best. I would come over and he'd be like, hey, I made this one with artichoke hearts and garlic. And I'd be like, ah, <laughs> give me all of the things. It was awesome. It was the best. I loved it. Ah, never got tired of it either, <laughs> which is the sad point to this story. Um, but yeah, so now I'm home, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out on the couch like a winner. But I feel like I worked today. I did something productive. Helped to make squash, so... So there it is. Uh, but I hope you guys had a good day too. Is it Sunday today? It is! It's Sunday! So tomorrow's the first day of the week. Oh... I don't have to go to work. <laughs> But for those of you who have to go to work or to school, um, enjoy your evening, be strong, and have a good start to your week, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.